all right let's get into what this hair review this is the box i was very much feeling the box it was nice it was a little different they had a qr code on the back per follow them they sent some little mac lashes and a netted hair cap which is cool which is cool now i'm about to take the hair out the net look at it those curls was really far at the bottom those curls are really fire. Look in the inside. They got two clips in the front, one clip in the back, and they got the little strappy straps. Very much big head friendly. You know, the lace, it was cool. Very much see-through. It was see-through. The lace was really thin, y'all, and it did not itch when I put it on my head. So I was like, yeah. I'm just looking at, you know, little imperfections, but rather than that, it was cool. Y'all, so now I'm going to try to, this is my attempt to pluck the hairline because I was like, if I could just get just a row out, it'd be fire. Like, you know, the, the part needed some finessing, but them knots were so big, girl, look. That thing was not budging. It was not trying to come out. And then the whole thing, it, it was just, ugh. don't be looking at my ashy thumb, okay? Don't be looking at that. Shoot. I'm just focusing on the lace, okay? Focus on the lace. Yeah, I was trying so hard. I'm like, please, like, can we finesse? Can we finesse? Yeah, we couldn't finesse that way. <laughs> you, you see, once I seen that haircut, I'm like, nah, this ain't gonna work because it's synthetic hair and you can't brush out after that. You feel me? Like, you're not gonna be able to brush that out. I was so upset we couldn't finesse and the hairline in the front definitely needed some work, but it's okay. I got another way. Got another way around this going in on my true match foundation honey and yeah we just gonna get into it get into it and this right here i actually had used a little powder first but i wasn't feeling the powder it just wasn't it wasn't giving what it's supposed to give so i used a little liquid and it was better y'all oh my gosh look that the color matching that was, it was just so perfect it was just so perfect i was really feeling this wig wait till y'all see it on you see look it's giving it's giving it's giving it's looking better now that we got that makeup on there it's looking real good we're real good girl mm -hmm. i wanted to say sorry y'all i sound real sick because i am very much with the flu but that ain't stopping nothing honey y'all that makeup make sure you spray that makeup with some goddamn on hairspray okay Y'all use my angle brush and some concealer to go on top, on top of the lace to get inside that part. Here we go. Y'all talking about my ashy hand again. I'm not understanding. Like, can you just mind your business? Stop talking about my hand, please. Yes, and I just went in. This one, I wanted to see which one would be better. This one is my normal concealer. And later on in the video, you'll see I'm going to go in with a concealer that is way lighter. Y'all, this is my little trick here. The hair was like brown. It was not black. So I wanted to use a brown. And I didn't have no spray. So I had to make it do it what it do, y'all. <laughs> look, me taking my bronzer. But look, it did what it was supposed to do, okay? You know, boom, boom, bam. It did what it was supposed to do, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need to get on there. But look, it looks good. It's very much good. Scout. All right, girl, come on. Get these naps rolling, braided up. Get these naps braided up, and we're gonna put a cap on top of that, okay? Okay, yeah, you see me flicking the edges back because I would like to keep all of my edges, you know? And in my hair, I put some tea tree oil and some coconut oil in my little mixing bottle and put that all on my head because I'm um, like, yeah. Gotta keep this hair hydrated, girl. Y'all, I didn't have a brown cap, and this wig was pretty good, so I didn't even think that I really needed to go get one, because look, honey, even with that black cap, it's still giving. It's still giving. Oh, y'all, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. It's giving. Only if it was plucked, it would really be giving. Like, girl, it's mine. It's, it's mine. Like, it's growing <laughs> from my scalp. Okay, so yeah, anyways. Push all that hair back. Push all that hair back, y'all. I'm cutting beforehand because I really didn't want to glue this down. Like, because I know I wasn't going to keep it on for long. I just needed it for a little occasion. Did I just say occasion? I needed it for an occasion. <laughs> I needed it to go somewhere, okay? 
So yeah, cut that lace off. And y'all, I was actually really happy with how it was looking. And y'all, I didn't want none of that, girl. I, I didn't want none of that. Cut all of that off, okay? Cut all of that off. It was looking so good. And I really wanted to see, like, this would be a good sentence since the wig is synthetic. It would be so good for it to just be a glueless wig. Like, duh. Pop that thing on, y'all. Me, I got to have some baby hairs. I got to. It's, even if it's the slightest, this wig was not, it's, it was a must. It was a must. And y'all gonna see, I'm gonna literally take my hands and try to pluck, try to give it one more shot at plucking, y'all. See, look. I was trying, 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 trying. But it just wasn't working out. That plucking just wasn't working out. So then, you finna see, girl, I'm finna start yanking that things out. I'm still trying. Here we go. Pull it. Pull it. Put them things out. I'm just going in, you know, pulling my pieces out. Select it, select it. Because, I mean, I wanted it. I wanted to try my best to make it look as natural as possible. And what way best, what way better to, you know, do the baby hairs? All right, while y'all watching me just pull uh, the hairs out of my auntie wig, girl, let me tell you, the wig was beyond full. For it to be a synthetic wig, I was very much surprised at how full the wig was because y'all know synthetic wigs don't always come the fullest, honey. This me, I'm just, I'm just like pre-shaping to see like how the edges is going to lay, you feel me? This side, girl, I'm talking about getting to it. Just put a thing, put a thing, put a thing. Because the, knot, the knots were really big. I'm not even going to cap to y'all. The knots were really big. And after I did that, I mean, shoot, I didn't need to brush it. So, because if I brushed it, it was going to be a real hot mess. So, there was no shedding. I can officially say there was no shedding because I, I had no reason to brush it. So, no shedding occurred. Girl, I'm telling y'all, I am not the best when it comes down to edges, but I was trying my best, y'all. Putting just a very thin layer, very thin layer right on top right on top okay so just to have it just a little secure secure a little secure secure let that dry i did two layers of that by the way y'all after it got tacky and then just stuck that thing right on there and let me tell y'all that thing that even spray don't play that even spray do not play y'all had to wipe a little access off because um yeah i don't need all that mess all over my face now look my little tuck tuck girl what was you doing little tuck tuck <laughs> Y'all gonna see me messing with these edges for a minute because I'm like, maybe I need to use a little less. Maybe I need to use a little less. And then that down on free spray. Girl, the free spray don't want to hold the edges down. I'm like, hold on, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, let me try something else, y'all. Put a little beeswax on here. All right, beeswax was fooling around with me for a little bit. It fooling around with me for a little bit, but... I definitely had to go back in. Y'all gonna see, I had to go back in with some of that even spray on the edges now. Cause girl, what? Mm -mm. And I was actually like thinning them out a little bit, the edges, like using less hair. Cause I, I wanted to make it look so natural, so bad because the curl pattern on the wig was really just giving natural type vibes. So yeah, watch me mess around with this girl and I'll be back. Also, another thing that I really want to mention, which is important, I did not lay the whole wig down on purpose because I didn't want to. I'm sorry. That was just me. I just didn't want to. I just wanted just the front really to be secure and the edges section because all that in the back, you wasn't even going to see all of that anyway. So, y'all. Yeah.
stop playing with me because the edges actually came out real nice y'all i did not have a hot comb so i'm making it work with what i got okay i needed it to have a little pushback action because i'm telling y'all the wig was giving auntie wig vibes and i needed it to give something a little more gen z friendly so i was like maybe if i you know use my even spray it's gonna hold that thing back and you know kind of just freeze it in place so it can kind of give more of what the you know what the girls wanted to give so yeah so yeah this is me just playing around with it push it back let it set let it settle and it actually it was okay it was okay Remember earlier when I was telling y'all I'm going to go back in with my lighter concealer? This is that extra light concealer that I was talking about. And just finessing, doing my last minute finessing. Girl, you know I had to come back with that bronze. And you know I had to come back with that bronze. Are you done? No, you're not done. Look, I was hype. <laughs> I was so hype. Like, oh yeah, look. Because now the part is actually giving like a scalp color. More scalp color. More scalp. Okay, so that little thing that I tried to do, you know, the little humps in the front, it, it wasn't all that. This is me going in with my uh, light brown eyeshadow. This is a ColourPop palette, by the way, y'all. And just trying to make it, trying to make it give scalp as much as possible, girl. Trying to make it give scalp as much as possible. <laughs> Your eye was dedicated because I'm like this synthetic wig like I really want to see if I can finesse with this synthetic wig and I mean so far I feel like it was all right it was all right as long as you ain't too up close and personal you feel me tight you fine but look I was like yeah yeah I'm like look at me from a distance and I sprayed the back and the sides because I'm like how can I get this a little more flatter it's it's giving auntie it's giving auntie but y'all this is the wig from the side and the back and if you like big hair and you don't want to pay too much for it i definitely recommend this wig because it's it's for the girls who like to have big hair me i like big hair sometimes but this was just a little too big for me so now y'all this is me going in finessing some more i had already cut the right side and now i'm just going in cutting the left side y'all i'm sorry i had to thin that wig out and i didn't have no no the razor thing to you know to make it actually look better but i did what i had to do to thin it out and i feel like it looked it looked the same but it did look it did look i'm sorry i can't talk it looked and felt a little less you know you know you know and this is like my little review video review video overall the wig was still fire like the wig was still fire all they needed was just a little better in the front you know those knots was too thick or maybe y'all could just thin it out a little bit so it don't need to be plucked too much finessing and yeah y'all tell me how y'all feel about this wig down in the comment section because for me it was cute but it was still giving auntie vibes like i, I like the wig i fucks with it but it was still giving auntie vibes but still cute still cute boo ah all right y'all this is the end i'm gonna see y'all in the next one ciao